In this episode of Fix It Bong Bong, we show you how to install a receiver hitch on a 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. shop today we've got a 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan and it's actually my friend Danelle's 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan and she's brought it to me because she would like a receiver hitch installed so she can carry her mountain bike. Um, actually at the time of purchase they didn't have the hitches available and even if they did they'd cost way too much so she purchased one off the internet and we're gonna install it today. So here we go. All right, so step one, the hitch we're going to be installing onto this Tiguan is actually a pretty nice one that sits actually flush behind this um, bumper fascia panel here. So uh, the first step of this installation is we're going to go ahead and mark off um, with masking tape over the center panel here and mark a center line so we know exactly where to cut. And uh, if you ordered a hitch that doesn't actually sit behind this but below it, you can go ahead and skip this step. But in this step, we're just going to be, going, like I said, marking off where, uh, where to cut with masking tape and then using a uh, utility knife or Dremel to make that cut. Okay, so now we've got the center line marked on our masking tape thing. I've made a cardboard template here to illustrate where the, the chain loop We'll pass through the width of that and then also the receiver portion. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark the area because I don't want to take the whole... Actually, there's two options we could do here. We could actually take the whole square out uh, and so the whole receiver can pass through. No. Or we can take uh, just the receiver hole here and then notch out the part for the chain loops. So let's go ahead and mark the sections where the like a great idea. receiver will pass through. All right, so right here I've already masked off and marked where I'm going to be making the cuts to fit the receiver and chain hook loop. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. Once you're done cutting, you should end up with something pretty much like this. Um, and you can go ahead and find sand or find file um, once you get the, uh, the hitch in there. But I assume we'll probably have to do maybe a little bit more trimming once we get the uh, hitch installed, but it's a pretty good starting point. So on to the next step. Okay, next step. On each side, there is a, where's my finger? A, ah. On each side, there is a 13 millimeter bolt holding the exhaust hanger on. You're gonna to need to remove that to lower the exhaust to get the hitch in place, so go ahead and remove those. Thank God for power tools. All right, now the passenger side hanger. All right. Uh, once you've got the exhaust hanger bolts removed on both sides, passenger and driver's side, you have two 16 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and remove those, and that's what we'll be attaching the uh, uh, your hitch to. All right, and now just get the bolts out of the driver's side. So 
a lot easier if you jack up the vehicle and maybe put it on jack stands. But if you fit under a car like me, this is kind of works too. All right, so now you got your bolts removed from both sides. You're going to have to remember you're you're trying to get the uh, hitch come uh, to clear this bottom bezel here. So we're gonna go forward and then back up. Um, and again, if you don't have a hitch that goes in through this uh, bumper fascia, you can skip this step and you can just go right in there. But um, at this part, it helps to have a friend, um, and I have a friend here, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward, so go ahead and get your uh, hitch up. It also helps to get one corner in first, get a bolt in, and then come to the other side and get the other bolts in. So, at this point, uh, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> So now that we've got the hitch in place and bolted, we're going to go ahead and torque that to spec. I believe it is 55-ish foot-pounds. I'll check the instructions. But um, tips for this, uh, you'll want to position the hitch directly underneath the holes and use your floor jack to actually press it into place. And for the fine tuning, use a dowel and a hammer to line the holes with uh, the bolts and screw it into place. Oh, but don't forget to wear eye protection. Oh yeah, and don't forget to wear eye protection because I've had everything fall into my eyes. So it's a huge pain in the ass, but once you get to this point, you're pretty much done. So torque everything to the specified torque specs and you're pretty much on your way. All right, I misspoke a second ago. It's actually, uh, Torque spec is 53 foot pounds. So make sure you do that. Alrighty, so the final step here make sure you uh, reconnect the exhaust hangers back to the frame and you are done with this install. So there's the hitch installed and that's uh, it's a pretty clean install right there. Like I said, I like how it sits flush in the bumper instead of hangs below. Um, you know, and if you were to have this installed at a dealership, you're looking anywhere from $700 to $1,000. So this option, you know, bought off the internet's about $130 and, um, you know, a little bit of a pain to install, but knock it out in the weekend, it's not too bad. It definitely helps have a friend and a uh, floor jack to get it done. But other than that, if you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. Say hey, Axel. Dog's not included. Dog not included. Thanks for watching.